I saw San Quentin Blues four times. <laughs> Do they still make hilarious shows like Gilligan's Island? This classic TV show made many viewers laugh for years, and it is still a go-to favorite comedy series for many today. But behind the show's chart-topping humor and interesting scenes, there are many bloopers we've noticed. I mean, take for example this unedited photo from one of the show's bloopers we're about to show you. You're for sure in for a fun ride. So get ready to laugh along with us as we reveal some of the funniest bloopers and prepare to figure out mysterious mistakes from the show. Let's get right into it. Boat Blunder, The Island's Magic, and Gilligan, The Hero. At the beginning of Gilligan's Island, they show the SS Minnow Boat sailing away for the character's exciting adventures. But if you pay very close attention, you might see something quite strange about the boat. When the show reveals the boat before the trip, and then again after it crashes on the island, it actually looks different. In the storm scene, the boat doesn't have an upper deck above the windows where the captain stands, and the front of the cabin is straight instead of pointed. This is a funny blooper that just shows the directors forgot that little bit of detail of the boat. Before we proceed, you should definitely get familiar with SS Minnow. It's a small boat that's supposed to take tourists on short trips around the ocean. The SS Minnow was supposed to go on a three-hour tour, but it ended up getting caught in a big storm and crashed on a deserted island. The boat is not very big, and it's not very fancy either. It has a little cabin where the skipper and Gilligan stay, and it has an open deck where the passengers can sit. There's also a wheel at the front of the boat that the skipper uses to steer. The SS Minnow is painted white and blue, and it has the name Minnow written on the side in big letters. It looks like a pretty normal boat, but it's the boat that brings all the characters to the island and starts all the adventures. Even though the boat is wrecked and stuck on the island, the characters still use it sometimes. They might sit on it or try to fix it up so they can escape, but most of the time the boat just sits there on the beach, a reminder of how they got stranded in the first place. The SS Minnow is an important part of the show because it's what brings all the characters together and sets the stage for all the funny and silly adventures they have on the island. Without the boat, there would be no Gilligan's Island. Besides the boat detail blooper, guess what? There are many other bloopers from the show. Check this out. As you now know, at the beginning of each episode of the first season of Gilligan's Island, when the show starts, you can see the Minnow, the boat that brought the characters to the island, lying on its left side on the beach. It looks like it's stranded there, unable to move. But at the end of each episode, when the show is finishing, if you look closely, you'll notice something strange. The minnow has somehow changed position and is now standing upright like it's not stuck anymore. This mysterious change has confused many viewers over the years. Some people think maybe the island where the characters are stranded has some kind of magical powers that make the boat move. Maybe it's trying to help them escape. Others think it might just be a mistake that the people making the show overlooked. They might have forgotten which way the boat was supposed to be lying on the beach. Whether it's magic or just a mistake, one thing's for sure. The minnow always manages to keep the audience entertained, even when it's just sitting on the beach. This next blooper is about one of the characters, so in case you're not familiar with them, here's a quick introduction about them. Gilligan's Island is a TV show that ran for three seasons between 1964 and 1992. It's about seven people who get stuck on a deserted island after their boat. The SS Minnow gets shipwrecked during a three-hour tour. The main character is Gilligan, who is the goofy and clumsy first mate of the ship. He often messes things up but always tries to help. Then there's the skipper, who is the captain of the ship. He's kind of like a big friendly dad to Gilligan and the other castaways. The skipper is always trying to get everyone off the island, but his plans usually go wrong because of Gilligan. There's also the professor, who is really smart and knows a lot about science and stuff. He's constantly inventing things to try to get the group rescued. Then there's Mary Ann, who is a sweet farm girl. She's always helping out and trying to keep everyone happy. Ginger is another castaway and she's an actress. She's glamorous and always trying to get off the island so she can go back to being famous. Then there's Mr. Howell, who is a rich guy, and his wife, Mrs. Howell. They're kind of snobby, but they also have funny moments. The show is all about the funny and silly adventures the castaways have on the island as they try to survive and find a way to get rescued. In one of the funniest moments from Gilligan's Island, 
which happens in the episode called So Sorry My Island. Now Gilligan tries to be a hero and get help by using a small Japanese submarine. But because Gilligan is always getting into trouble, things don't go as planned. He forgets to close the top hatch of the submarine, which leads to some silly accidents. When Bob Denver, the actor who plays Gilligan, filmed this scene, his legs and feet were visible, splashing around even though he was supposed to be inside the submarine. This funny mistake shows that Gilligan's escape plan wasn't as clever or daring as he thought it was. Instead, it just made everyone laugh at his goofiness. This moment is one of the most memorable from the show because it really shows Gilligan's character, always well-meaning but often causing chaos by accident. Things get more interesting because in the same episode where Gilligan tries his luck with the little submarine, there's another funny mistake to notice. After Gilligan finally closes the submarine hatch, he starts to drive it around the lagoon. But if you look closely, there's something strange. A scuba tank is clearly visible and moving around near the periscope. It's like a prop from the show decided to have a mind of its own. We don't really know if it was a mistake or if the show's creators did it on purpose for fun. But what we do know is that Gilligan's Island was always full of surprises, even if you watched it many times before. So even though Gilligan's submarine adventure didn't go exactly as planned, it's these kinds of funny mishaps that made the show so beloved by fans. It's like finding hidden treasures each time you watch an episode. You honestly never know what kind of silly surprises you might discover. Home Sweet Hut, Hungry Sharks, and Man with a Net In the episode called Home Sweet Hut from Gilligan's Island, some fans noticed a little mistake that the people making the show didn't catch. In one scene where they're inside the professor's hut, if you look closely, you can see the shadow of a microphone on the wall. It's a small thing, but it shows that sometimes, even in TV shows, little things can go wrong. The shadow of the microphone is only there for a short time, just a quick moment before it goes away. But some fans who pay really close attention to detail spotted it. It's kind of like finding a hidden treasure in the show, something small that not everyone notices, but when you see it, it's kind of fun. This mistake doesn't really change the story or anything, but it's interesting to see because it reminds us that people make TV shows and people sometimes make mistakes. Even though the show is about being on a deserted island, there are still people behind the scenes making it all happen, and sometimes they accidentally leave a microphone shadow on the wall. Check out this blooper that's really just an illusion. When Gilligan and the skipper found themselves in danger surrounded by hungry sharks, if you paid close attention, you might have noticed something odd. As the skipper bravely threw the sail, sharp-eyed viewers might have seen something surprising. The sky background behind the water tank. The background looked like the sky, but it wasn't real. It was made of fabric, and if you looked closely, you could see that it was created and not smooth like the real sky. There was even a gap between the water and the bottom of the background, giving away the secret that it wasn't a real ocean scene. This accidental reveal showed that even though the show was about a deserted island, not everything was as it seemed. Despite this little mistake, Gilligan's Island became a beloved TV show that people still enjoy watching today. Now this next blooper makes us ask, was it actually intentional? Or was it an accident? You be the judge of that. In the episode, Man with a Net, the castaways encounter a mysterious lepidopterist who is searching for a rare butterfly. But his departure from the island doesn't go as planned, and he accidentally knocks out all seven castaways. This unexpected turn of events adds to the comedic and unpredictable nature of the show. Throughout the series, the castaways often encounter interesting visitors on the island including individuals who have been stranded there for years, such as Wrongway Feldman, Duboff, the painter, and the Jungle Boy. Each of these characters believed they were the only ones living on the island until they met the crew of the Minnow. This makes us wonder how so many people could live there for years without ever crossing paths. I mean, how big was the island, really? People sometimes wonder how the castaways, who were only supposed to be on a three-hour tour, have so many things with them. Mary Ann and Ginger seem to have lots of clothes to wear like they brought a whole wardrobe with them. The professor has a ton of books, and the Howells have fancy stuff, like they're living in a hotel. 
It's funny because they were just going on a short trip, so they shouldn't have so much stuff with them. But maybe they packed a lot because they were going on a boat and they thought they might need it. Or maybe it's just part of the funny and silly world of the show where anything can happen. Some people think it's a mistake in the show like they forgot that the characters were only supposed to be on a short trip. But others believe it's just part of the fun and fantasy of Gilligan's Island. Whichever one it is, it's something that people usually notice and talk about when they watch the show. In the opening credits of the show, there's a particular mistake that we can't not mention. As the minnow sets sail, the lyrics say five passengers, but if you count, there are actually eight people on board. There's Ginger and Marianne at the front, Gilligan and the skipper on the top deck, and the Howells and the professor at the back. But there's also a mysterious man steering the boat, so who is he and what in the world happened to him? Maybe this mysterious man was the original captain of the Minnow before the skipper took over. Or maybe he had a secret agenda or was responsible for the boat's misfortune. Who knows? Fans have come up with different theories about the mysterious man. Some believe he was a spy or a stowaway who caused trouble for the castaways. Others think he was just a crew member who got left out of the story. Whatever the explanation, only the producers and directors can actually tell us. Until then, it remains one of the show's most interesting mysteries. Now, in some episodes of the show, if you listen closely to the radio announcer, you might notice something strange. Whenever they mention the call sign of the station the castaways are listening to, it always starts with a W. Now, here's the thing. Radio stations with call signs beginning with W are usually found east of the Mississippi River in the United States. But the castaways are stranded in the vast South Pacific with only an AM radio for company. Even in the best conditions, it's very unlikely that they could pick up a strong AM signal all the way from the eastern U.S. This small detail might seem odd to some viewers who know about radio signals and geography. It's enough to make you doubt how accurately the show is portraying the castaway's situation. After all, if they're stranded on a deserted island in the Pacific, how are they able to tune in to radio stations from thousands of miles away? So, next time you watch an episode, pay attention to the radio announcer. The Wedding Band, Not Far From Home, and Bubble Breath. In the episode they're off and running, there's a funny moment that some viewers might catch. While the skipper and Gilligan are having an exciting turtle race, you might notice something unusual, a shiny wedding ring on Gilligan's hand. But hold on a minute, when did Gilligan get married? The truth is, he didn't. It turns out that the real reason for the wedding ring is Bob Denver, the actor who plays Gilligan. He probably forgot to take off his own wedding ring before filming the episode. Fans of the show enjoy spotting these little details and mistakes. It's like a little inside joke between the viewers and the creators of the show. Just when you think you have the island all figured out, there's another blooper. In one episode called The Friendly Physician, there's a scene where the crew is sailing on a small boat. But if you look really closely, you might notice something interesting in the background. The faint outline of buildings. These buildings look like they're peeking over the trees that surround the lagoon where the crew is stranded. Now, some people might wonder if these buildings are part of the studio where the show was filmed. You know, like the place where they make the TV magic happen. But others might think they could be a glimpse of the Los Angeles skyline, which is far away from the island. Either way, seeing these buildings kind of breaks the illusion that the crew is really lost on a deserted island. It makes you realize that maybe they're not as stranded as they seem. At the beginning of the show, Gilligan's Island, the lyrics say that the castaways ended up on a desert island. But when you look at the island, it's not really like a desert at all. Instead, it's full of thick green jungle. This might make you think that they didn't really land on a desert island after all. Another thing that doesn't quite match up is how Gilligan is described as a mighty sailing man in the song. But in the show, he's not really very good at sailing. He's actually kind of clumsy and messes things up a lot. So it seems like there's a bit of a mismatch between what the song says and what we see on the show. But if you look up the term desert island in the dictionary, it can actually mean any remote, uninhabited tropical island, not just a sandy desert-like one. 
So even though the island on the show doesn't look like a desert, it still fits the definition of a desert island in a way. It seems like there's a bit of confusion about what kind of island the castaways are actually on. But in the end, it's just a fun and silly TV show. So it's okay if things don't always make perfect sense. This next blooper is about the boat, and it's actually really funny. The boat is often called the SS Minnow, but that's not exactly right. It's actually a motor vessel, not a steamship like what SS usually stands for. So technically it should be called the MV Minnow because a diesel or gas engine powers it. The MV Minnow is shown as a 1964 Wheeler boat. It's not super fast with a maximum cruising speed of 12 knots. That means it can't go too fast in the water. During the supposed three-hour tour mentioned in the show, the boat could have traveled about 40 miles at its maximum speed. That's not very far from the big ocean. It's kind of funny to think about because they thought they were just going out for a short trip, but they ended up stranded on an island for a long time. In the episode Feed the Kitty, it is shown that Mrs. Howell is allergic to cats. That means when she's around cats, she might sneeze or feel itchy. But in another episode called The Friendly Physician, some fans noticed something interesting. They saw a cat in the episode, but Mrs. Howell didn't seem to have any allergy problems. Some fans thought this was a mistake because they remembered Mrs. Howell being allergic to cats before. But if we look closer, we can see that Mrs. Howell doesn't really spend much time with the cat in the Friendly Physician episode. She doesn't share any scenes with it, and she only has a quick moment where she's near the cat. In the show, even eating dinner can turn into something wild and crazy. In one episode called Pass the Vegetables, Please, the castaways are sitting down to eat when something unexpected happens. Bubbles start coming out of their mouths. It's like they're blowing bubbles instead of talking or eating. But don't worry, they're not really drinking soap or anything like that. If you look closely during the scene, you'll see something funny in the background. Behind Marianne's surprised face, there's a little metal clamp holding a hose. This hose is what's making all the bubbles. Maybe the castaways accidentally got into some funny food or something strange happened on the island. Either way, it's just another silly adventure for the characters on Gilligan's Island. It's moments like these that make the show so much fun to watch with surprises around every corner. So, next time you decide to rewatch this episode, keep an eye out for those bubbles. That wraps it up for the bloopers we've got for you from the show. Which of them did you figure out right off the bat when you saw that episode? And did you notice any other bloopers or mistakes in the show? Share with us in the comments and thanks for watching.